Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jesse, the Couch Movie Critic, and once again, we are back in the kitchen, and today we are doing a retro unboxing. This is trippy, so I, anybody that knows me personally knows that I'm a huge God of War fan. My actual rear windshield of my car has a God of War logo on it. I love everything God of War, and um, recently somebody uh, very near to me, Miss Unofficial Official, um, gifted me with a PlayStation 3, because I was commenting on the fact that I'm dying to replay the original God of Wars. They haven't remastered them. And the only way to do it is either, you know, PS2, PS3, or a PSP for some of the versions. And um, with this gift of this PS3, I can now play all of them. And I actually managed to get my hands on the PS3 copy of God of War Origins Collection, Chains of Olympus and Ghosts of Sparta, the PSP games that were remastered and ported over to the PS3 in brand new condition. And I said, man, you know what? This is kind of cool. It is retro. Probably nobody will watch this video, but I said, what the hell? Why not? Let me do an unboxing of it so people could see what it came with and what it looked like when it was brand new. So before we get started, as always, guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. My contact info is going to be in the description. Please feel free to reach out with any questions, comments, concerns, or ideas for new content. But let's go ahead and let's get to it. All right, boom, so on the front, just like every PlayStation 3, this is the second generation banner with the second generation logo, PS, PS3, PlayStation Network, only on PlayStation, remastered in high def, God of War Origins Collection, the cover of Chains of Olympus, and the cover of Ghost of Sparta, Mature 17 Plus, 3D compatible, and the Sony logo there. On the side, obviously, here we've got the side that it opens, but along the spine, we've got PS3, God of War, Origins Collection, and Area 1, because it is one of the U.S. ones. And we go here, PlayStation Network Trophies. Every War has its origins. Two legendary adventures remastered for the PlayStation 3 system. Bonus materials, downloadable content, Legionnaire Kratos, Forest of the Forgotten Challenge Arena, Voice God of War Game Directors Live, two epic adventures on a single Blu-ray disc, remastered for HD resolution, stereoscopic 3D, DualShock compatibility, <laughs> the DualShock, full PlayStation Network trophy support, one player, 256 megabytes of required hard drive space. That's crazy. Most games nowadays are breaking 60 to 90 gigabytes. HD video output all the way up to 1080p. DualShock 3, 3D games, and then the technical specs, the barcode, and Mature 17 rated for everybody. But that's everything on the package. Let's go ahead and pop this bad boy open real quick here. Care if I got a little trusty orange blade. Didn't cut myself. Woohoo! Let's go ahead here. And pull this guy open. Get all that wrapping junk out of the way. Let's go ahead. Pop this guy open here. On the right side, we've got the discs. Anybody that knows me knows how I feel about the hiding stuff. Origins Collection, got little chains running around PS3. And the logos. On the back, we've got some... Let's go ahead and open this up because there's usually some pretty, pretty cool artwork that's hidden behind the covers of the God of War. This is something that's been going, been done for a long time with God of Wars. It's not just something new they do on the PS4 or PS5, but there is pretty beautiful art there. The Omega symbol, the end of it all. Let's go ahead here on the back of the book, PlayStation 3D cover, same art cover that's on the front cover. And then we've got the table of contents. This is crazy for those of you youngins. This is an actual instruction booklet that comes with a game. They don't do this anymore. Now it's digital or learn as you go. It's rare to see a booklet of any kind included with a game, but that is it. I mean, that's pretty dope. I'm blown away by the fact that somebody had this thing as old new stock sitting on a shelf somewhere and I was able to get my hands on it um, and add it to the collection. So um, that's pretty much everything that's included. I just wanted to share it with you guys because I thought it was cool to be able to do a retro unboxing for something like this. I didn't do any of those. I'll fix that in a minute. <laughs> um, when I had a PS3, so my YouTube channel, you know, came out after the PS4 and before the PS5. So I figured I'd share it with you guys so you could take a look and see what it looked like when you opened this brand new back in the day. As always, guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.